So I see a number of uh, a number of angled arrangements over here. What I'm looking for perhaps is uh, is somewhere down the row. It is something um, which uses zero as an angle, so basically uh, generates some uh, some vertical uh, arrangements. <clears throat> so obviously it's not only the style count which matters. Uh, there are other factors. For instance, if you have your uh, if you have your building over here, then pedestrians. After, after they, uh, they parked their vehicle, they will try to access this building. So uh, if you choose to have a layout like this, pedestrians need to go across uh, these, uh, these parking roads where there will be some circulating traffic happening. Also, um, if you choose to have this layout, there will be some very, very large circulating times. So uh, a vehicle goes into one road, starts to look into, uh, look for some uh, free stalls, and if not, then he needs to go back to this road. So it's pretty, uh, it's not really safe, and it's not really, uh, let's say, user friendly for uh, for the driver, or driver friendly. So what I will be using is that uh, is this arrangement uh, of uh, of zero angle. So we will have almost 600 stalls generated uh, within few clicks. If you're fine with this, then you can say draw and close. Uh, if you would like to go back, you can change the parameters and then you can, you can calculate again. So uh, I have now this defined. You also see these, uh, these little uh, uh, line works. These left here from some other iterations. And uh, there are these, um, so these line works are created when Parkhead is not able to solve um, an end island. Then it, uh, it basically generates a separate uh, object, which allows the user to, uh, to draft up that, that, uh, that end island. So we basically have um, this view. Perhaps uh, it's better if I just uh, rotate my view like this. So what we see here is that at the end of it, we have um, quite a number of, uh, uh, of, of extra space. So what I would like to do is to distribute this extra space to, uh, to the parking stall. So I can go back and then edit this, uh, this parking lot. And I can choose whether what, what I would like to do with this. Uh, I, could, I could either distribute it to, to the AL space, space so uh, for driving ways, or I could distribute it to center path. Now, because of the, uh, of the herringbone layout, I'm not going not gonna, to uh, distribute it to the center path. But I will just distribute it to, uh, to the airspace. So after that, I can just uh, select all these parking lots or select the parking lots which I would like to uh, include in this. So I can just cross-select them. And then uh, I can distribute it to, uh, to the airspace. So I now have slightly larger uh, driving way with and then uh, <clears throat> this uh, this might be uh, beneficial for uh, for the drivers what you also see here is that uh, all of these uh, these these parking stalls have been generated in the way that vehicles need to access from the top uh, and then uh, go down to the bottom in order to uh, to park this uh, forward to park forward to these uh, these places. What I can quickly do is to edit, to show you how you can change it. So in order to um, to edit a uh, few of these stalls, a few of these rows, I'm just going to uh, select every second of them. 
And then what you can do is um, you can swap flow. So basically, <coughs> you can just um, modify your parking stalls uh, how you would like to uh, have these. So obviously, you might want to change it differently. You might want to have a different layout, but you can play play with it, and it's pretty easy to. Uh, to do that. Okay, so we have this parking uh, uh, sublot designed. I'm just going to focus on uh, a little bit more on this area. But I have what we have here is uh, a gas station. So if I go here, uh, generate the lot again. This time, I'm just going to use uh, some 90 degree. Uh, angle parking here and the only layout what I have in this arrangement is the flat. If I generate uh, some um, some parking to this area then what you see is that it goes it overlaps it's going to overlap with um, with my uh, with my gas station. So first of all what I can still do is to use again the maximize style count I'm not going to um, calculate anything which is, uh, which is not slapping to, the, uh, to any of these angles. So this time I would like to, uh, to make sure that uh, I have a nice layout. So I just hit OK. And I have a few possibilities, a few options. So basically I can uh, choose whether to have... Um, uh, some horizontal or vertical arrangements from this view. So perhaps I'm going to choose this uh, this option. I hit OK. Uh, so I say draw and close. And I just escape from this command. So how we could make sure that this um, this area is excluded from our parking stall from our parking lot, that what I can do is to have a piece of geometry which is placed on the PC physical, so Parkhead physical exclusion layer, and I can just go back and edit this lot. So in the Parkhead, uh, on the Parkhead menu, you have uh, different editing tools. I was using uh, the <coughs> edit row earlier. This time I'm going to use the edit exclusion. So what I will be using is uh, this exclusion. I'm just I just need to click in the middle of it, and then Parkhead understands that uh, that exclusion, and it can create uh, it can update my uh, my whole uh, lot according to that. I have few options. I can generate rows around this exclusion, but since this is a this is a gas station and then vehicles need to exit the gas station over here. This is not a good option. <clears throat> and also I can uh, I can define whether I would like to have some end islands over here or not. Perhaps it's a good idea to have some end islands. Um, and then I just hit apply. Sorry, I forgot to hit apply. I just hit my uh, my uh, right mouse button. So I hit apply and then this is going to be my new uh, parking layout. So over here what you see is that uh, what I was uh, talking about earlier, little piece of, uh, of geometry which Parkhead wasn't able to generate uh, a parking island uh, continuously or, uh, or automatically. So uh, this is up to the user to define uh, perhaps some, uh, some mid-island shape over here uh, is beneficial. Or perhaps you would like to, and you would like to get rid of any of these uh, parking rows, and then uh, update this uh, this exclusion area. So vehicles coming out from the gas station, they have uh, a better uh, <coughs> a better driveway. Okay. Yeah. Again, you see um, a custom uh, parking end island over here too. So we have generated these um, uh, these parking rows to here. 
What we can do uh, as well is uh, 